Hi, this is Steve King. And I'm Johnny Putman. This time on our video road test, we take a look at the 2019 Toyota CHR. Specifically, the Toyota CHR Limited. This Toyota CHR finds itself in a very crowded small crossover vehicle category. A few others in that category are the Honda HRV and the Mazda CX-3. Under the hood, you'll find Toyota's two-liter, four-cylinder, Valvematic engine. It puts out 144 horsepower and it's mated to a CVT automatic transmission. The CHR does have decent cargo capability, especially when you flip down those 60-40 rear seats. Getting into or out of the front seat of the CHR, even if you're a tall person, is a piece of cake. However, if you are a tall person, due to the sloping roof line of the CHR, getting access to the second row of seats is going to be a bit of a challenge. One of the CHR's interesting styling touches are the integrated door handles in the rear doors. The interior of the CHR looks really good. The combination of the soft touch plastics, the high quality leathers, the overall layout of the dash, and the excellent fits and finishes. The CHR's dash is well laid out, easy to read, the steering wheel controls are easy to use, and you're going to love that big screen when you're backing up. Along with the many advanced safety settings on the CHR, Apple CarPlay is now standard. On a very short list of nits to pick, I would have to say at the very top of the list would be the cup holders in the center console. You can put a bottle in this cup holder and it's fine, but you're the driver and you've got your cup of coffee and you drop it in this cup holder and it is next to impossible, especially while you're driving, to fish that sucker out. Some people have complained that the steering wheel doesn't scope out very far. Well, it doesn't. As a tall driver, that doesn't really bother me. I just put the seat back and extend my arms and I'm good to go. However, if you are a tall driver, and if you think you're going to be able to swing the visor over and extend it out to block the sun, A, there's no extension. B, this thing is just gonna sit there, Toyota, Come on. The styling of the CHR is one of the many things it has going for it. And this ruby flare pearl paint is outstanding. cylinder engine, this CHR merges onto an expressway with ease. The combination of three rear headrests, the sloping rear window, and the very big C-pillar means you do have some over-the-shoulder blind spots. to mention that along with expressway merging acceleration, we found that if you need to stand on it while you're on the expressway, the CHR reacts just fine. Just an observation on one of Chicago's palatious, windy, rainy, you don't want to be out in it days, this Toyota seems to handle this kind of weather really pretty well. A, we haven't heard any wind noise. B, because of the lower than some crossover height of this Toyota, 
it's not really buffeted very much. So in horrible weather, this is a really decent vehicle to be driving. Compared to other small crossover vehicles, we're generally impressed with the smooth ride in the CHR. We find ourselves always asking if we could take a particular car that we're road testing on a long trip. And with the case of the CHR, I would have to scale back on my luggage because of the cargo capability. And the ride is nice and it could be fun, but would I make it my first choice? Probably not, but it is a great around town car. I'm very pleasantly surprised at how well the CHR corners. The handling overall of the CHR is surprisingly very good. The CHR is only available as a front wheel drive vehicle. Its EPA gas rating is 31 on the highway, 27 in the city, and we got a combination of 29 miles per gallon. So, after spending a week with the CHR, what do we think? Well, even though we had some nits to pick, I have to say the CHR absolutely exceeded my expectations and, in my opinion, would make a terrific around town vehicle. It's got all of the right things going for it. It's fun to drive, it gets good gas mileage, heck, it's got a personality. Those things make it easy to overlook that short list of flaws, like the horrible cup holder design, the fact that it has manual seats, and limited cargo capability. Bottom line though, I think I'm going to miss the CHR. As we're driving it, this 2019 Toyota CHR Limited stickers at $28,980. For more information, check out what our friends from Consumer Guide Automotive have to say at cgdailydrive.com.